Hello amazing artists! Today we're going to be doing a Gustav Klimt inspired landscape. A landscape means a picture of the outside. So here's a few things I have. I have a pencil, a black marker, and some crayons. You're then going to decide what kind of landscape you'd like to do. You have a free choice. I will leave some examples, but I am going to be drawing a rolling hills type of landscape with a little house on a hill. But you have a free choice. It could be a beach, a forest, a city, whatever you would like. So I'm going to start by drawing the hills. I have one flow off of the paper, one a little bit behind that, that's called overlapping, and one behind that one as well. Remember, boys and girls, yours does not need to look like mine. Make it however you feel you would like to make it. I'm going to draw a little house on the back of this hill. I'll start with a square and add a roof. A door and some windows. I'm going to have a little road leading up to the door, but watch what I do carefully here. It's going to be smaller in the back towards the house and get larger as it goes forward. That's called perspective. Perspective means things closer to you are larger and things that go away from you are smaller. So look at this little house. It is smaller than the other house because it is farther away. I'm going to show you some perspective with some trees as well. I have a small tree next to that house in the back. Next to this house, it's going to be larger because it is closer. I'm going to add one more tree here and it's going to actually overlap that hill. Overlap means it goes in front of. So as I draw it, I have those lines in the middle. I can get rid of those. I'm adding swirly branches because that's kind of the style Gustav Klimt would have. So here I can erase those lines that overlap because my tree is not clear. From here, I'm going to add lines throughout my landscape to kind of break up my composition. My composition means the way things are laid out. So I'm creating these different shapes to fill with different patterns. So from there, I'm going to just add my patterns with my black marker just to save a little bit of time on this video. So look at the reference sheets that I left for you in the slides and come up with your own as well. But I left some Gustav Klimt inspired patterns that you can use for inspiration, but feel free to use your own creativity and come up with your own. I'm doing a pattern of zigzag lines in circles. I'm making the area that is the pathway to the house all the same pattern, so that way it is still readable as the same thing. I'm going to outline all of my lines now And I'm going to fast forward this part because you guys should know how to outline with your black marker. But from there, you're going to add patterns in each chunk that you have made. Make them different. Make them unique. Use inspiration from Gustav Klimt. And fill the whole paper.
Now that my patterns are done, I am ready to add color. This part's gonna go really fast, but I am filling in the pathway with warmer colors so that they stand out against the green shades and tints that I will be using. I'm filling in creating patterns with the color, not only just the shapes, but with the colors as well. I'm using a shade of green, a dark shade of green, and a yellow to kind of break up because that's what I had on hand. Use whatever you have on hand. And voila, we are finished. Don't forget to email me your results so I can see how well you did with this project. See you guys soon.